there. Maybe you can persuade him to get in touch with this nice investment banker he's met. News to me. They're a match made in heaven, I reckon. So get in touch, yeah? See you later. Didn't realise there was someone new on the scene. I'd, um, I'd rather not talk about it. Shut me out now. I'm sorry I had a go at you yesterday. I thought you treated Eddie with disrespect, but maybe I'm just not up to speed with today's world of dating. How do you mean? I had a chat with Andrea about it. If you meet someone online, you don't know who you're dealing with. So it took her to point that out. I've got a better picture now. And if they won't take no for an answer, then maybe blocking them is the only way. Not if they find you anyway. Is Eddie still bothering you? He won't be in touch again. Good. But I hope this is a lesson to you. Take your time with this new guy. Make sure you can trust him. Are we done? Don't you want coffee? Not if it involves another lecture. It's the last thing I need right now. come in and get tested. Uh, today, ideally. I, uh, I think I might have contracted HIV. Ethan Anderson? You'd like to come through? Nice name, Ethan. It means firm and strong, apparently. Not that I feel either of those things right now. I know it's daunting, but try not to worry just yet. So tell me, when you think you may have contracted HIV? Well, I had a one night stand with this guy I met online three weeks ago, and he contacted me yesterday to tell me his ex was diagnosed HIV positive. He had no idea, apparently, but... I mean, he's been tested too, but no results yet. And was the sex protected? Unprotected? Unprotected. And have you had sex with anyone since? No. And prior to that, did you have unprotected sex with anyone? I have done before, but... That was ages ago. Uh, any other STI symptoms? Blisters? Discharge? Pay when you pee? Nothing. Not all STIs present that way. If you've had unprotected sex, then I'll get you booked in for a full sexual health screening. Chlamydia, gonorrhea, hepatitis B and C. The HIV blood test we can do now? Um, what about PEP? Post-exposure prophylaxis. Yeah, will that work now? Or... It's only effective if you take it within the first 72 hours. It's been three weeks for you, so I'm afraid it's too late. So, so there's nothing I can do to stop this? Even if the man you slept with does test positive, it doesn't necessarily mean that you'll be infected too. But I could be... for one stupid night. If it helps, with the right treatment, a person diagnosed with HIV nowadays can still go on to lead a long and healthy life. Let's take your bloods first, and then I will talk you through it step by step. Lovely. Is that it? On blood test? For today, yeah. I was um, hoping for the finger prick test, the one that tells you straight away. The full blood test is more accurate. HIV can take up to six weeks to detect after infection. With a finger prick test, it can take 12 weeks. So if I had unprotected sex three weeks ago, I'll need another test in three weeks' time? That's right. If this first test comes back negative, then, then it'll be reassuring, but it could still change within the six-week window. That long with this hanging over me? You've done the right thing coming in to get tested. 
think about taking prep in the future and with any new partner, we always advise using condoms. Thanks, but with the way I feel now, I'm never having sex again. If you find you're struggling, we can offer a counselling service. Why would I want to talk to anyone? I'm ashamed of what I did. An intelligent guy who risks his future for some loser he doesn't even care about. I know it's not easy, but try not to jump to the worst conclusion. It's just the way my mind works. You can give me all the reassurance you like. It's, it's not going to stop me feeling terrified. 